Hello everybody, welcome to Stoneheart Me Banto. So we're back in my town High Rock here in hard mode. So there are a few things that I would like to try to solve soon. It's one of them is to really really get an herbalist gun. So for herbalist we can get a cleric and a cleric will be healing out troops and that is gonna be so useful to get. So I'm gonna see how far away would that we are perhaps from actually getting some stuff like that done. So I'm gonna go into town info, inventory and then we're gonna check how many flowers we have. So it seems like we do not have any flower yet, so we have to wait for them to grow. We did plant some in the latest video. But there's a lot of workers. I'm kind of considering actually to go for even a third farm now in the beginning. Because as you can see, we have a lot of these uh, farm plots here that have nothing growing on them. That kind of means that we need to have at least one more farmer to be able to handle them all, so we might go for someone to be a temporary farmer or a permanent one. We will see how it's gonna be with that. Let's find someone that could be a good one. I'm kind of thinking maybe it could be Jaro. He has a really good 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 mind. He's a good good crafter, so it could be some other crafting profession. But the thing is that if we make a jar to a farmer and then later on we make a jar to our cook, he should be able to do some really really nice cooking for us. There we go, that's a free farmers, and we're gonna change also once we get the Jara. There we go. We're gonna change so he's not uh, moving around resources. He's gonna be doing his job with planting and harvesting crops pretty much. I think we should be pretty good with uh, the net worth. 1,333, so hopefully we'll be beating the daily goal and get another Harfling to join us today. Harvest a few of these berries, get some more food for Banto's little town here. So what we could do for flowers of now is to look in the wilderness for flowers and do see that we already have a few ones here. So for now at least we can use these for getting some early flowers for us. I'm gonna put them maybe up here by the farm we can put them. We can actually lift these up and we can put them inside the base. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do now. So let's move them over here and we're gonna go into forest and look for more flowers. Eat update. Oh guys, we beat it. Awesome. The food is going really good. Look at that. 270 food. And we need 96. And uh, we're gonna have to improve the network for the next day, that's for sure, if we wanna beat that one. Tesla Bride will join us. Do we actually get some read invaders now? A Varanus? Okay. So let's see if we should perhaps go for uh, a second soldier now. Cecily could be a good option for that and do have a request for that, so let's name this girl here Cecily. This is going to be Hyperiosa, and that's going to be us, our second soldier. I think it would be the most safe to go for two soldiers now in the beginning, because this is hard mode, it will be slightly harder than normally. We're just going to wait to get that sword, and then we're going to launch an attack on that guy. Okay, so let's see. Getting the sword. I guess four of Jin want to go out and fight before. I think we should try to get them together when we're fighting. These uh, Varanus, by the way, as you can see, they can actually bring down the doors. So this is like the first enemy we get that can actually destroy the doors. But the goblins and those guys, they can't really do it, so it should be fair and safe against those guys for now at least. So it looks like we definitely need to get some kind of a healer, at least when we're out of combat, so we can heal up a little bit. See that Fordian lost a little bit of health, more than half of it actually, and now it's feeling pretty sad carrying home the Varana skin to our base. So an herbalist, uh, okay let's promote someone, If we do, I do think we should have the staff ready. So uh, we see Bronze Tiger is a really good option for a soldier as well. Uh, maybe Randas man. Maybe you can be, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna make you to my future healer. And the reason for that is the, um, the high spirit, as you can see. Go into the character tab here, you can see 5 spirit. The higher the better, and the body will also make him survive a little bit better. This could also be a decent soldier, Randas man. But I'm gonna make him to our first herbalist, and it do seem like we don't have the staff yet. I thought we had one. I guess we couldn't craft it because we was missing the flowers, I guess. So this house looks fully done. I want to see if we have some missions for our other people for the moment, so maybe we shouldn't start with building directly. It's good to be building though, because that means that we will actually be 
getting more halflings quicker because we need to get up the net worth. But I'm gonna move all these flowers over to the base. So that will be a lot of flowers. That's a bandos little flower haven here. And I did see that we had a ton of silkweed out here. Like, look at this. This is pretty crazy. I don't think I want to carry them all, like, home and put them in the base. That would be really, really useful. But it will also be a million, million of clicking. So I think I will actually go and uh, harvest them for now. And we're going to keep them. I also have a few more berry bushes. Actually, a ton of them. That's like 16 berry bushes. Look at that. I want to move them to base, so I think there's going to be a lot of <laughs> carrying around stuff at the moment. Kind of considering actually having a little berry farm here at the end. What do you guys think about that? I think that should be fairly good for us. I'm going to move them all over. So now we're carrying over all these bushes. That's going to be a lot of work for my people. And I'm kind of considering if we should build this stair perhaps before this house, because this might give... A little bit of net worth and it should be a pretty fast build. And when you're doing like only slab, it goes pretty fast to build then. So let's go and build our way up there. Maybe I should change it a little bit. I'm kind of thinking of a way to reach up here. We change it a bit. So I'm gonna see if these ticket torches, I'm not sure if they belong to the thing. Okay, they do not belong to it. But I think we could put some ladders there. I think they should be crafted by now by the carpenter. We can put them there and then maybe remove them again and then later on. <laughs> Probably put them back again. But what I want to change for this thing is to where you get up here at the very start here. I want to actually make something. So I'm gonna go for and make this wire just so we could make kind of the same width around this thing. So maybe four would be good. Then it will match with the stone there. But if even go further though, but I think that would be pretty nice. Go and fill this up. So we go with something like that, and then we're gonna change uh, a little bit with this thing. So let's try to do something like this, perhaps. Just to start with, and then we'll see if we're gonna go exactly like, like this or not. Perhaps, I don't know, maybe just in the middle we have it a little bit lower. Maybe we go like that. I think that's pretty good. And then later on it's gonna be like, uh, probably some kind of a road like this. You can already do it, I guess, because I'm most likely gonna do it. I think something like that would be nice. What we could do would be to split them up like this. Stuff like that. It could be pretty cool. But I think I want to have this, like, at least here to be full like that. And what we also could do, if you also want to make it a little bit cooler and stuff like that, we could add some more stuff to it. I'm sure how wood would be with this, but I'm thinking we have so much stone. The wood would be taken out from the other colors a lot more with the brown. So we could make some kind of, like, kind of an arc wave thingy. Let's try a little bit just to make something. And I kind of think of doing something like that. Maybe that's not good. Maybe it's too big. It looks a little bit too big, perhaps. Maybe just go a little bit more basic with it. Then if we want to, it might look better. We could do something like behind here also. We can have two of them when they go up there. I don't think we're gonna connect between these. I'm not gonna do that. We could try though to put like a roof on top of this thing. That wasn't the idea at all to have it. But uh, I just wanna see how that could actually look. So I'm going for the stone here again. It would be almost, if I do it like this, it would almost be like a ton to go up. And not sure if I really want that. It looks pretty interesting, I'd say. Then, like, when you get up here, now we're covering in all the wood again. We can make it like that. And we could do it for this front side as well. I'm just gonna try it out. We could do it like that. It almost looks like an entrance to, like, a, a cave or something. Let's see, have they put the ticket torches? Nope. I think they're quite busy with moving all this stuff. Banta gave them so much work. I'm so sorry, my halflings. And let's see if we can maybe put something on this. We could we could put like ticket torches here. I think that would be too close. We could do something like that and we can put it on this. I think that could be kind of cool. 
think that's pretty awesome. And let's see if we want to have something like under here just to make the colors look a bit better. I think that's pretty nice actually. Let me know what you guys think about it. And the idea with this is kind of that um, we're going to go around the mountain later on and do something similar at uh, the borders everywhere. I think that's going to make it pretty cool. We could have added so it would be some open holes here. I'm not sure if that would be good or bad. I think it looks better with it. Without the holes. I'm not sure if we will be able to actually harvest these berry bushes that we got here. So most likely later on we're gonna move around a little bit. And this one is a little bit offset from other ones. Let's see if uh, the coffin have actually crafted this herbal stuff. Still missing one flower, wow. Oh, they haven't harvested any of the flowers yet, okay. That explains a little bit. I guess what we could do if we wanna really want to harvest them would be to go for changing one person to not be like uh, carrying resources. He will be building ladders, placing stuff and yeah, doing the job stuff pretty much. The runners man, that's what you're doing. I think that's a pretty good way to actually get stuff rolling because sometimes it just gets stuck a bit. I see that uh, Fordian and Hippuriosa both are pretty low health. I only saw one lose a lot of health in a battle, so I'm not sure how the other health was lost. It could be that the people are first, there were a bug recently with the, the cafe mod that adds the drinking thing that it doesn't show like these bubbles above their head when they're actually first. It might be an update to the mod, so I haven't checked in a, like a week or so, so it could be in a new version to have fixed this. So hopefully that was the reason why we was losing a little bit of health, it could be. Because you do lose health when you're not drinking in this game. Oh, that was pretty close. That wasn't so far away. I think I'm gonna wait with building that for a bit and then maybe we do... Let's do this house. Let's do another house. But I'm giving more and more work. Oh, we're fully out of wood. Okay, let's go and harvest the big trees. Harvest our beautiful little forest here. Not so little. It's freaking huge, really. There's <laughs> so many trees. It's crazy. Since they're busy with stuff, I think I will actually maybe widen this up a bit to prepare for what we're gonna do later with this. So let's add a little bit more road. There's like six more. Something like that, and then I'm gonna do maybe something different here. So it's not gonna I'm not gonna build up everything so it's square everywhere. Instead I'm gonna like kind of curve this place. I think that's gonna be I think that's going to be looking better, really. Something like that, and then we do some of these darker blocks. You can find them, here we have them. Do something like that. And then let's fill in a little bit for this side, so... I guess what we could do, I'm not sure how they're going to be able, if they're going to be able to build this good or not. It would be to recolor this thing so it looks like the same as that one. I think that would be the best looking at least. I think if we're gonna do that, we will have to actually dig it down. What we could do instead would be, for example, to actually go out one more. I'm not sure if that would be a good thing, but I'm just gonna give it a try at least. Then this one will have to go out one more like that. Let's see how that would be. I think that kind of works. Looks pretty nice. I guess we have to do something similar here then. So something like that to start to build this place up here. I think that's gonna be pretty nice. As we can see, we got this uh, warning message here that uh, we need more wood. Look at that. No wood, Banto. Where's the wood, Banto? I don't know, maybe we should actually cancel some of these gathering tasks down here because... It's just too much for my people to handle for the moment. So it doesn't seem like they're actually farming the flower. Okay, they're farming one, okay. I 
But uh, this place, like I said, I think there's gonna be problems because I don't think they can like walk between the bushes here. So I'm gonna move a few of them. But since we moved them up here already, it should be fairly easy to move them. Not such a long distance anymore. I'm gonna try to actually take the middle ones, and then maybe we can keep this side and this side. So I guess this one we can put here. This one we can put, let's see. I guess we can have it on the back side of the house. I'm just gonna go and move these ticket torches, torches almost up to the top here, so we can get them done, so they can get placed, I can remove them again. Because else this might become weird when we build this thing. I really feel like we need to get this herbalist still. We really need to get him. Let's see if Randall's man can be promoted now. Nope. No herbalist staff yet. Did have flowers. They did harvest them before. Okay, so we do have some flowers, like 10 of them. It's better than nothing at least. Okay, let's go and promote Rana's man to be the herbalist. It's not done yet, what is the carpenter doing? It has said that they have been crafting that one forever. Okay, hopefully we'll be getting into this now then. You can do it, I believe in you. Here we go, the powerful herbalist staff for Rana's man. Let's promote him. Give me that, give me that stuff. Here we go, we ran this man our herbalist. Uh, let's go and make an herbs lab. Lone wood, pretty much out of it. So this is what we want to start with doing, some small healing tonic so we can heal our people up. And also, the goal is to actually get this thing, the book here. So this was the thing I wanted before, bolt of leather and then we just need herbs and then we can make a book. So we are actually able, once we get up levels, to make free books, which is really awesome. We have a leather bundle that we need. So, we can also go and queue up with some bandages. That's what we want to do later on, once we can do it. But we need to get up to level 1 first. So, let's go and uh, put an herbless lab. I'm gonna put it I think maybe next to this house, just for now. It's pretty close to these boxes. And I'm also gonna put out a few more. See where we're gonna have them for the moment. Maybe next to the house here. Go for three of them. And let's also move down uh, the compass workbench, so it's closer to the city. Or my little town. So, something like that, and that's... maybe remove... Let's remove this one. We can just go like that, remove it. There's gonna be a lot of work for them to carry it down. But it's gonna be better to have everything, like, centered around the same place in-game, because that's gonna speed up all, all of it, like, delivering goods, crafting goods, getting all that material going. Still really low wood, so hopefully the next day we'll actually be getting a little bit more wood gone. Ooh, we got some invader, another Varanus. I hope we can take him out now, since... Okay, they almost have full health. One of them have full health, so that's good. Hypiorsa have full health. So, okay, we should be able to take him out then, I hope. Come on, smash that Varanus face in. You can do it, Hupi Ross and Forodian, you can do it. Here we go, we got him, awesome. Lady Metal, Formula 2. Job opportunities, awesome. Good, leveling up our farmers. We have quite a bit of many farmers in the beginning. We have nine people and we have three of them are farmers, but you know, we're getting up to food. I guess what we could do if we want to is to promote one to worker again, just to speed up the things. Thing is that I wanted to get uh, flowers quick, but I guess we maybe we can promote one back for now. Maybe Jar, you can be helping with some more in normal work for a while. Because we have a lot of stuff we need to do. We need to chop down wood, we need to build. A lot of stuff we need to do, so let's have just one for building for the moment. I'm gonna have Jar for building only for the moment. 
because he's the slowest one, lower body means slower, and having higher body should be good for going out in the wilderness, chopping down stuff, pretty much. I did give him a pretty big job to get this. Hopefully we beat the daily goal now, please. Awesome, we beat it with 30 net worth. Irving Jondal has joined us. So we're gonna name this guy. He got some uh, pretty balanced stats. Very low mind, but uh, a decent body and a decent spirit. So we're gonna name this guy after one of you guys. So this is gonna be Billy Bop. So welcome to the town, Billy. We're gonna have a great time here, man. Oh, I was like, how did he get up? It's because we're building here, so the enemy actually have a sneaky path to get into the town while we're building this house. That's not very good, but not much we can do about it. So, Billy Bob, I'm gonna remove building from you as well, because we have a lot of stuff to move down here. Banta gave him a big, big mission to move them around. Maybe even change one of them also to not be carrying around resources. Chasing Lady Metal, you're supposed to go and chop some trees, man. Randus man, our herbless goes for chopping trees because everyone is too lazy to do it. And we got Amphion directly going out of gathering the wood. Very well needed. That's nice, getting in some more wood. And I also been thinking, guys, maybe, just maybe, I will do a new... Uh, Let's play of the game Banished, if you guys would like to see some more Banished, I've done that in the past, and if you guys would like to see some, that would be really cool, and maybe I'll also try to get some nice mod for it, just to change the game experience a little bit, so that would make it a little bit more interesting than the core vanilla game, which is really good. So let's uh, move this back, this is the ones I wanted to get out. Let's move them back for now. Low Norm Wind Riser. Oh, need to buy this one. I'm bound to always buy those. I think they're really, really, really handy. Really beautiful. Two of these. And let's sell some farmer tools. We need a scarecrow to get away the crows, guys. So let's go for one. Little, little pumpkin man here. <laughs> Look at that, i never actually seen the small part before they put it out, it looks pretty cool. So guys, I think this will be it for today in today's episode, so let me know guys uh, what you think about our new thing up here. It's gonna go around the mountain like I said, and I think it's gonna be pretty cool, and uh, some places we're gonna make a difference, see we missed one tiny part here. But guys, thanks for watching today's video, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave me a like on the video, and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos like this and other games, and always, if you have game suggestions, drop them in the comments below, and I will be looking into it, and perhaps we'll make a Let's Play series of that game that you suggested. So guys, thanks for being around, hope you all had a good, good time, and hope to see you next time. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and take care guys.